Right, yet again we have to offload some of the excellent minerals that we've been picking up. Look at all the coal we have. We've probably mined like four stacks of coal today alone. You know what? I'm going to... I guess I should... I'll turn those on later, I guess. Uh, let's put some of this kelp away. I don't need all of the dirt either. Let's see here. Gravel. Granite. Need to empty my granite again. Okay. Feeling a lot lighter. That's for sure. I find iced coffee sweet. So if you like regular coffee, but you don't like iced coffee, don't get any sugar in the iced coffee. I don't put sugar in my coffee regularly, um, but iced coffee, I absolutely don't. I find that really good coffee gets sweeter when it gets colder for me. So that's what, what I tend to do. Ah, I almost forgot the glass. I got halfway there. You guys are supposed to remind me of these things. Come on. I'm kidding. I do not blame the chat room for my poor memory in Minecraft. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. So streaming, wow, floating squid. Interesting. Must be the bubbles. Hmm. Too funny. So somewhere underneath of us is where that water stream goes. Uh, and the storage system is now up here. I'm going to update this so it looks a little bit nicer too. We also have, we also have to figure, figure out the lighting in here. Uh, so this is... So yes, it is, the drop is above is above the... Uh, or below the trapdoor. So what I think I want to do... That's just straight. I guess I kind of, we should just, I probably just mimic that, I guess, which means I need to go get some smooth stone. I guess we could just fill that in. I was gonna do something fancier, but I guess we don't really have to do that. Uh, smooth stone, probably back at the barn. I shouldn't have dumped all my smooth stone. Uh, that is, that's always been there. That, that was just a bed. It was, we put the bed in when we first made the mine, when we first started the server. Um, so I'll show you what's going on. I just need to get some smooth stone here. There. Um, I'll get, we're going to have to walk all the way back to the spider farm and, uh, oh, the build above the mine, this up here, you mean? Jonathan ha has made a meteor hit the meadows, which is really cool. There's a whole crater on the other side of that. It's really, it's really awesome. If you haven't been in to see it, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. So here, well, let's take a fly. I, uh, I don't know if I showed this on video yet or not. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Oh, and server lag. Come on. What's going on? I've got my elytra on. There we go. Speaking of slackers, you still have a creeper on your base. So you can see there's these holes and everything's on fire. So check this out. We get up a little bit higher here. You can actually see like this is approximately the trajectory that this meteorite took. And then it clipped the top of the mountain, took a hole right out of the mountain here, burned a hole through it, and then landed over here and destroyed a bunch of stuff. And then we've got like a crashed, it was a meteorite, but now it looks like it's a spaceship. <laughs> That's awesome. That wasn't here the last time. The, the, when I saw it, I only saw this. I only saw this crater here. And I thought that this was just the end of it. It was just this black, like this thing was the, the, was the projectile. But now it looks like, now it looks like there's an actual UFO. <laughs> That's awesome. So fun. Yeah, look at blinking lights. Controls. Looks like there's some 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 control levers inside. I don't wanna I don't wanna light myself on fire here. Let's 
going on over here? Is there anything, anything else in here? Is there a way in? Oh, no, I think that's probably just the tunnel that they dig, dug to make the build. That's cool. I like it. Yeah, I didn't realize that this was here. He must have done this new in the last few weeks. That's cool. <laughs> Roblox player invading the server. Yeah, maybe. No, it's it's I know it's Jonathan. I asked him about it. He he said that he hoped that it's okay. I said, yeah, no, I thought it was really inventive and cool. Uh Sharky's been rebuilding his treehouse too. But Jonathan did this as well. This is his his domain over in the woods here. There's actually been quite a lot happening on the server. It's been nice. Had a few new people come by, which is cool. Uh, so, Macast, you were asking, uh, the triple spider spawner now sends all of the drops when you kill spiders, the string and the spider eyes, all the way here and along this, uh, this storage system. So, string goes in here, and all of these six are going to be string. Spider eyes go here, and then when everything is full, the excess gets sent down the shaft, and that is the hole that we just dug. Uh, I was going to do something fancy with this here, but I think for now, we'll just fill this in. Like that. I think I made that empty. Uh, yes. So yeah, as things get filtered, there's, there's a bunch of filters out the back here. Then the excess just gets sent here, and then they hit this wall and they drop straight down. And then they'll continue on and that hooks up to the greenhouse which is out the back of your place matt cast so the the white greenhouse over there that's where the string is going to go the spider eyes they're just going to be here uh there's not going to be any any spider eye storage because you can't trade with them the spider eyes just end up you can only use them for potions to, and really there's not much use for them so uh but i need to update this because this does not at all say, come inside and get the string and the spider eyes. So I need to do something here to make this look a little bit nicer and more inviting. I think I'm going to put maybe a staircase here, like, like a separate entrance. So you can come up here and then you can go around here and go down into it. Would be, my, the, I think, probably the best way to go. Hmm. So we have all of this set up. We need to, I know that there's a string filter at the other end. So I really, I think the only thing left to do is double check the filters at the, at the greenhouse. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's basically it. I do want to have, I do want to get access down below though. How, well, we know, we know the coordinates. So let's just go down and dig a tunnel. So Matcast, I know because you are familiar with, with this area uh, in just inside here, there is now a water stream here and that goes all the way back. I think it's at 233. Uh, you can see it. it's one of these tunnels. There it is. So this goes all the way to the string to the string spider farm, uh, and that brings the drops. I know it it, it gets this far, um, but now what I need to do is I have to make another access tunnel on this side, and it has to be at two fifty three, two fifty two. So let's just dig a tunnel here until we hit oh wait a minute that's not going to work at all because it's at y equals 52 not y equals 11. all right never mind we'll do we just won't have access to this end um so now we need to go down to the other end 
and make sure that the filters are set up. Yeah, I, I flew by the Purper Palace a little while ago. It's looking good. I, I haven't been playing that much lately, man, either. Um, in, in a good way, the Spawn Chunks has been doing really well and having a third podcast in the week really limits my time. So like my my Minecraft playtime, a good chunk of it has been sacrificed. Is there a creeper over there? I thought that I thought that vine was a creeper. Um, a good chunk of my playtime has been sacrificed to make the podcast. Uh, so it's it's only because this is a long weekend that I've been able to sort out some time. Uh, what do I need to do here? Uh, I do not need soul sand, so I can put that away. Uh, compact ice. I'm going to leave some. And I'm definitely going to need my redstone box because we have to, I figured out what the problem is with my, with my string and, and um, pumpkin and melon and carrot filters is that there's not enough of them. So we've got to double up on the filters. Oh, thanks, man. I'm glad that you like this punch chunks. It's uh, it's really fun to work on and really we've had so much feedback. I'm having a hard time keeping up with the email. So if anybody listening to this is, has written it into the sponge chunks, then know that I read all of them. I just don't have time to reply to everyone. And then we try to pick a, a topical email to have on the show each week. Um, so it's not that we don't want to read everyone's email. Um, it's that we we just don't we just can't there's just not enough time okay so uh so Matt i know that you're familiar with the water stream that goes underneath the meadows like the one that goes right underneath here so i'm just going to go down and double check this we'll eventually send a test item we'll we'll name an item and see if it gets all the way to the end um but this water stream is now all hooked up. So the string and the spider eyes that overflow will come this way. And then they will eventually make it to the item sorters and the elevators down by the greenhouse. Yeah, I need to I need to sort out some some day job stuff too. Um, oh, did I miss the turn off? I need to sort off some some days day job stuff too. I thought there was a turn off back here. Oh no, this is the carrot and the potatoes. That's right, the carrot and the potatoes goes all the way to the the villager. Yeah, it goes all the way here. That's right. I forgot. Uh, this is the turnoff that I'm looking for. There we go. I want to update our pumpkin and melon farms too. Right. So pumpkin and melon are down there. And then this is the main sorting system for, whoops, I just fell down into it. So this is the main sorting system for the greenhouse. So as per the colors, we've got carrots, potatoes, and wheat, I think. No, I think wheat might be green. Yeah, wheat's green, potatoes are yellow, and then carrots are orange. The problem is that we're getting overflow. So this chest over here takes all the overflow, but we're getting stuff in the overflow chest that we should not be getting. We should be just getting junk. Like we shouldn't be getting any of this stuff. Um, and I think that flint that was in there might be the flint that we tossed into the water stream. So that's good. That's good that it made it all the way here. Um, hey, Jake, welcome back. Uh, so on this side, we've got string, we've got pumpkins, and we've got melons. And the issue is that when stuff gets bunched up around corners or uh, just in general, then it can't get through the filter. So if we've got more than, uh, is it 69? So if you get more than 17 kind of, or 18 kind of bunched up, then they don't do what they're supposed to, uh, or 22 rather. So 
what I want to do is I want to add additional hoppers here. And we're going to double up on these filters. These filters are, are stackable, so they can go right next to each other. I can't put another one here. This has to be this has to be ice here, I think. Yeah. Either way, it's going to work out better for me to have uh, hoppers here, 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 and here, and then have this just be the regular regular water stream because this I don't think that can be a hopper I think for the items to get through here around the corner I'd like to have that remain ice so I'm going to drop my uh, redstone shulker do I have oh I hear a skeleton it's mostly lit up down here but sometimes we have little friends that drop by they usually hang out underneath Okay, so let's just drop this for now and we'll drop the redstone. So I'm gonna need a lot of these things. Grab some extra wool. And then that skeleton sounds really close. Sorry, I'm distracted by, there he is. Let's just get rid of you. Probably don't need this bow. Nope, I do not. Oh, cool. I didn't know that you listened while you were out running, Vanilla Raccoon. That's really cool. It's in relation to yours wanting to hear from someone's Minecon experience, but with mine fair instead. Oh, cool. Yeah, please send an email. That sounds like a cool idea. Oh, thanks, Jake. It's, I, it's not skills. I just have a really nice bow. <laughs> Flame and power four and just like destruction uh, helps a lot. So uh, I'm gonna need some hoppers and I think that's all I'm gonna need for now. So we should block off the water. Let's just use wool for that. The real question is I'm not sure where I want the other hoppers to go. I could just point them into... Well, thanks very much for the gift subscription, Cosmic Dancer. That's really cool. Uh, I promise to get on board with these um, emotes. I need to. I need to do a pixel art emote. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stream the creation of it too, which I think will be kind of fun. So this has to be a filter. We're just gonna completely mirror what we've got going on the other side here. I think I'm just gonna clear this straight through so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh. Ah. These are not water elevators. These are standard dropper block stuff. I should change that. We should turn these into water elevators too. That would be a lot, a lot more reliable because then they're enclosed. Uh, okay. So we need to do... This has to be a block, so we'll replace this. And hopper there. And then we'll do, what's the better way to do this? I guess we can just have a hopper going there and there. So why are, oh, it's because things are not being filtered. Shoot, I should probably block off the water here too. We're gonna get a bunch of items piling up but it's better than having a bunch of stuff being disorganized. Um, so I need to remove this. And I have to put in 
Oh, I need torches. I know I forgot something. Yeah, Vanilla Raccoon, you got to keep your eye on Cosmic Dancer. She is a wonderful, supportive person. And if you're not careful, then you'll end up with a gift subscription. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, we need to do this with one of those. Then we need to do three of these and also get a repeater in there. Like that. And then line it up with the dust and then get the comparator. And I did not bring, I don't know what I have. What did I use in here for filter items? Sticks, okay. Well, I sure, I'm sure I've got sticks or wood or something kicking around. Uh, wood box, tree box, probably a good place to start. Don't have any sticks, but I can make sticks. Uh, 20 should do, I think. And then what do we need? This first one's carrots. Grab that. Okay, so sticks. Carrots. And that should go down to 41 and hold steady. Beautiful. It's what we like to see. Seal this back up to avoid disaster. So now we've got two carrot filters and that should help with the volume of stuff that comes through here. And we can close that up. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for the potatoes and the same thing for the wheat. I guess wheat is up first looks like. So I believe all I did was just have, don't think I needed to mine those out. So we need filter and then how did I, how did I do that on the other side? I think I can see, right. So into the, into the hopper there and then there. And now we just do the same same song and dance with the torches. Repeater goes here. Get rid of this. I think I might actually uh, dig a little trough behind this just so it's easier to maneuver. Let's see what's going on. And then comparator. And this needs wheat. Oh, I don't have any. I have to go up. It is wheat, right? Yep. Okay, sorry. We'll go up the back way. You guys get to see all kinds of stuff today. As you can tell, I've got the speed boost from the nearby beacons again. And look, look at the top right hand corner. The speed boost is now a boot. It's really cool. Oh, it's nighttime. So we need wheat from the greenhouse. Grab one of those. So that's where everything's gonna end up is in the greenhouse. Okay, so have sticks. I just need to deposit them in the filter. Filter. And this should drop down to 41. Success. 
seal that up and one more. I don't think I have enough hoppers. I do not to get more. I should probably just make, make a tunnel underneath that. Pixel Rifts raiding party. Uh-oh. That sounds like trouble. That Pixel Rifts guy. You never know. I guess I could. Could I go underneath? No, because you'd, you'd hit your head. Okay. Up and over is the way to go. Pixel Rifts raid. Thanks for the raid, man. Much appreciated. You've got us in the throes of uh, technical Minecraft. We're doing filters and water streams and all kinds of good stuff. Welcome to everybody dropping by. So I do this, yes. That goes there. Filter goes there. Hopper goes there. This gets replaced and now we do the redstone. This, that, and this. Oh, I get rid of the wheat and I needed I needed the wheat. Not the wheat, the wool. They both start with W. Give me a break. Don't forget the repeater. That would be problematic. And redstone. And now we load this up with sticks and potatoes, and this should stop at 41. Yes, these are the very familiar filter things. The Impulse SV Overflow Protected Filter System Extraordinaire. Um, and I need to have some more torches down here, otherwise the lighting updates are going to cause the server to have a heart attack. Let's just do that. Sure, why not? Not too worried about the way that this looks. <laughs> okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff there. And... I think that's good. I think I can release the hounds. Put the water back. And I can remove this block. Everything got sorted. Whoops. I fell down. Oh man, this is annoying. So the only thing I'm not sure about is whether I'm going to leave these as these block, these old school block filters or block elevators I kind of want to update them into um, soul sand stuff the problem is that these droppers shoot the thing up and I you'd want to have it shoot it into the water stream from the side so that is a problem because the that's the filter hopper these are the distribution hopper I guess the thing to do would be to remove would be to remove the dropper, put the dropper down below. And we'd have to find another way to do the redstone. I think I might actually have to leave these. I as much as I'd have to until they stop working. It's just so neat and tidy down here. Steppy 101, thanks for the follow. Uh yeah, it's just it's such so neat and tidy down here. I don't want to, I don't have the room to do the redstone for these droppers pointing in another direction. Well, I guess I could put them off to the side. It would move the redstone over by one block. But this is actually, this is a neat solution. This redstone is all overlapping, like it all ties together because the dropper circuits are so close to one another. Um, it would move the dropper circuit over to these six blocks because then we could have the dropper here and it would shoot onto the soul sand there. And I think that would work. The, uh, no, because that has to be a, that would have to be a block to enclose the soul sand. Hmm. 
yeah, I'd have to I'd have to really think about that. So I'm not going to update that today. Uh, I do want to add another filter though. I want to put a second filter in over here for the string. Um, I don't think we're going to get enough pumpkins. That's going to be an issue. Uh, same with melons. I don't think we're going to get so many melons that we're going to be overflowing the filter. Uh, and basically we don't have any of those things in here. So how do I get up there? Can't get up that way. Is there a way up this way? No, must be, I must have to walk the long way around. Whenever I hear redstone ticking, I try to make a beat out of it and play a tune in my head that goes along. That's funny. Uh, I have some note blocks hooked up to my slime farm. Whenever the little slimes go off the water drop, they they go over, uh, they go over one of those trip wire hooks. They go over trip wires, and then they um, they chime tunes that way. I'm just gonna steal that for now. That's the other thing. This does not all have to be ice, which is could be part of the other problem that we have. Um, I'll leave those. Those two is ice, but I think I'm going to take this one and place it with just stone. I think this last one has to be ice though, because it's that's the end of the water stream. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so that, that has to be ice there. Can I get out this way? No, okay. My slime farm does indeed have a built-in jingle. I even made sure that the that the notes sound pleasant. You know, like I think it makes a C chord or something. It's like the three notes in a C chord. Uh, so it sounds kind of like a doorbell. It's actually kind of cool. It's it's a nice way to indicate to you the player that the farm is working. So I do like I do like that feature. So we are adding a string filter, and this is more complicated to reach than the other one. So we will remove this. And, oh, I can't, how are we going to do this? Uh, I think this is eventually going to be wool anyway. Yeah, I see this has got a wool, wool base where the other one did not. So I need it to go into this hopper. I guess it doesn't really matter. We can just do, oh yes it does. There, there. Oh, nope, not there. That's bad. Oh, where did that, <laughs> of course. Of course it sent it up to the storage system. Awesome. That was my last hopper down here too. Um, I have a chest and I have iron. I will just make a new hopper. I should really have a crafting bench down here. Cool, man. Thanks for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. I, I see that you are doing some more sky block, uh, sky factory, excuse me. Take it easy, man. I appreciate you sending everybody over. So I now have a hopper and I need to place it in the right position. And I need to replace this glass. I've got a feeling, funny feeling that that piece of glass was probably important. So we'll replace that, do that. And then now we can do the same old little trick here with all the redstone. Need a repeater. Oh, no headroom. That sucks. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we're going to have to break some of this stuff. Switch over to the comparator and do that. And then redstone. I just realized I don't think I have, I didn't think I brought any string down with me. So I'm gonna have to go back up to the storage system anyway. And now I can't get down. So that is almost done. It just needs the string filter on it. Doesn't get a light update, although it should maybe have a torch here. That. All right, so we need string Have to go back up top. There's the lost hopper. So went into the right, went into the right uh, set of chests. That's good. And then we just put in that filter, and that should be everything set up. And then we just get to test it. And string. Everything is not getting shot out the side. It's good, it's good, it's good. Take these out of here. And I think we can probably just put these right in the dropper. The carrots go there. Wheat. And potatoes. Okay, I just need to put in the water that I took out. Make sure I sealed everything up. Yep. Ready to go. Perfect. So any overflow items will end up in this chest. So let's just put, let's just grab everything nothing in there too crazy take some of the components that i might need later so we can put our redstone away and put that back in ender chest it'd be nice to have some sort of potion that allows you to have the ability similar to playing in spectator mode i agree I think that would be really cool. Make it part of the game as opposed to, I don't want to say cheaty, but it feels kind of cheaty sometimes. And and I think that having the ability to do that briefly would be good. Maybe not the same look that the spectator mode has. Maybe something a little bit more like x-ray vision or something. You know, you could have it be something from the end, you know, some really rare drop. That would be kind of cool. You're right, Cosmic Dancer. We do not have a name for the people that come out to watch the stream. Um, I do. I stream art and Minecraft, so I feel like we have to come up with something that that embodies both, both of those things. Um, but looks like the filters are working. I'm hearing potatoes and carrots and stuff go. So let's go up to the greenhouse and just make sure that um, some of those. I think early on when we were working, some of the items went into the wrong chests. So I just want to make sure that that has been been sorted out. I'm getting some low frame rates here. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. Uh, carrots. Ah, there are potatoes in the carrot patch. 
I don't know why th th these don't make it down to the proper chest. I find it odd that the tops fill up faster. I don't know why that happens. So there is nothing out of place in the wheat. Potatoes are all potatoes. Interesting. Oh, I have potatoes on me. I should just get rid of those. So eventually, this is going to fill up with string. And this is not hooked up yet, but we will have also pumpkins and melons there as well. Uh, so we should now technically be able to get string all the way from the spider farm, which is way down there, to here. So I think the thing to do is going to be to find an anvil and rename an item and send it all the way from one end of the stream to the other just to make sure that it works we might we might do a few we might do like say six to make sure we're not losing any i think there are still some spots along the the water stream by the spider farm that might have some loss to it so i want to try and make sure that we don't have that what item should we send that would be fun five apples let's do five apples and we'll call them test apples because there are no apples at all in the system Redstone would be good, except for there, depending on what happens, if there's been any breaks in the water stream, there might be some redstone that's been kicking around. Uh, I need to eat some food. Careful not to eat my named apples. And let's, you know what? Let's walk the water stream. I was gonna fly to the spider farm, but let's walk the water stream and see if we can't sort out any places where we could put some um, safeguards. So we know that the drop is hooked up. We know that the um, the dropper circuit for the elevator is over here and it should be on a two tick delay. I think I did that earlier. Yep, so this is on a two tick delay. Now if we trace this back, there's no real issues. All the ice seems to be intact. I don't know if packed ice has any problems with, with lava, but I've not seen any, any packed ice melting. So there's the packed ice here. The issue with this water stream, of course, is that it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a ledge uh, to walk on. So we're gonna have to walk the whole thing just kind of on our own. But everything looks to be in order. I know that this works as far as getting some items to the destination and certainly gets most of the items to the destination. Take it easy, Vanilla Raccoon. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, right, so here is where we've noticed some stuff. Uh, no, not here. It's been, it was up here, I think, that we noticed some stuff. So. One thought I had is that we could put, I wanted to kind of keep the stone look to everything, but like no one comes down here. So something else we've done in other parts of the meadows is that we've done something like this, where the items should hit the glass pane and then drop down. So if I shoot an item in here, Let's just go with something like, I don't know, wool. Put items up in here. So now they drop straight down. So that's good. Uh, they do shoot out on this one though, a little bit. So I think and maybe we should do the same thing. It doesn't look all that great, but it does the job. I mean, you could use fences and stone walls and things that we really wanted to, but 
We've got a lot of great glass in this build, so I think that that might be the way to go. And because I now have, I thought I had, where'd they go? Didn't I just make like 16 glass panes? Did they, did I throw them in the water? Where'd they go? Oh, geez. Wow. That's a poor design. Look at that. You can't even see them. Light gray. It's the same, same color as the, <laughs> as, as the same color as the inventory. That was funny. Uh, so we can do the same thing here. And that way, when an item goes down like this, dunk, and then dunk. And then off it goes. It's kind of boring, but whatever. And then maybe we can do something a little bit more, a little cooler. Like that. And maybe even could use some upside down stairs. Be really nice when we have stone walls. Like you do like stone brick walls. But we could do something like that. Again, no one's down here. This is just for my own personal personal aesthetic. Do that. And then maybe we can just do something like that here. Whoops. That is the wrong recipe. Oops, upside down. Yeah, I think that'll do. Maybe we'll just add some, some flare in the sides here. Most of it's just to make sure people know not to, to destroy it. There. Now these ones up here, this waterfall is fine because I've watched it. And what happens is that they come off here so fast, they actually hit this block right here and then they drop straight and they never do they end up on this block. So that's sorted out. Forever Ghost Joy. Hello. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks. It, it's been really fun to build. Uh, I really enjoy the water streams in 1.13. Uh, it's a great way to move things around so much better than hoppers So so much better and this is all hooked up to a triple spider spawner, which is super crazy fun But we're about to test it so you're here just in time So before I turn on the giant emptying machine that will put all of this stuff into the system uh, this is the dropper where things are gonna go and these are our five test apples and do I have this on the right? Yeah, so that's on two ticks of the delay as well. So this should shoot out five apples and they should end up in the overflow chest at the other end of the meadows. So let's just see, uh, you know what? Let's go up and fly. That's probably gonna be the fastest way. Oh, I almost made it. Get out of here. All right, so I've got a funny feeling that we, those items might beat us, might beat us there. The new water streams are like super fast. So they're gonna go past the filters at the top of the mine. They're gonna go underneath in the water stream that we just hooked them up to. And those apples should end up down here. That was not a smooth landing. This is where we want them to be, right there. Five test apples. Oh, there's the wool. Wool and stone. So actually, wow, those apples are gonna take a little while because we dropped that wool in when we were testing out the, the drops. But that's good, it's a good sign. Let's see. Now we're just playing the waiting game. Rare opportunity to read the chat. 
Is this your first time here, Forever Ghost Joy? Welcome, if it is. I sometimes miss people. They, they drop in really quickly. Did you come in from the Pixel Rifts raid? So I know we won't hear a click with the apples because the apples are just going to drop in to that chest. I'm hoping it doesn't take longer than five minutes. It shouldn't. Because I don't want the items to despawn. I mean, it's a simple solution. We would just put ice in the, uh, the waterway. Oh, that was a potato. I thought that was an apple for a second. Starting to get a little bit worried. Although I guess if if the wool and the stone made it, then it's not five minutes. Sorry, man. I I I don't remember everybody's handle. So if you're only here once or twice, then it I've also I've also not streamed in a long time. Apologies. Especially right after a raid. I don't often recognize everybody's name. Uh, this is taking a little while. There goes a carrot. Still no apples. I really hope this filter system works and, and stops the overflow of carrots and potatoes. We've been having some troubles. Man, oh man. I might be pushing the five minute limit on these items. Oh, I hooked them up to, I hooked them up to the villager line, the villagers, do villagers eat named items? Because if those villagers, oh, I have to check. I have to check now to see, to see if we've got, I feel like the villager breeder should be off. I've got to check though. Pretty sure it's been redirected. Yeah, okay, so none of nothing is getting to the villagers. So that's good. Because it's like there's a food item, and if they the villagers had have received the apples, then they might have eaten them, but I don't know if they eat apples or not. I'm the guy with the strange game in chat. Sorry. Doesn't ring a bell. What if you had the stuff go through some hoppers during the journey? Would it be just one hopper at a time? Would that reset the despawn timer? I actually don't know, Jake. Does anybody in the chat know whether something going into a hopper would reset the despawn timer? My Minecraft brain says it probably would. I'm guessing that's a yes. I'm really concerned now as to where these things have gone. The wool showed up. Interesting. I wonder if I mean, there's the, the chance of all five apples being caught on the edge of something are pretty slim. I want to make sure that this is working, though, before we, before we unleash the hounds. Uh, we do. We have a barn. We've got a, I've got a, my own personal barn for storage, and then we've got a large farm. Uh... Hopper chest and then into another hopper. That could do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ghost Joy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Your sword is still in the barn. 
I remember that. Lead with that next time. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that. I think that's the last time you were on stream. Or in chat, anyway. Uh, okay. I guess we've got to backtrack. Because it's, it's been a long time. And I'm now not sure where those items have been or gone. Oh! That was a potato. Pretty sure. So I'm not seeing any apples along here. They're potentially st getting stuck along here. Nothing there. I mean, again, the stone block and the um, the wool made it. So I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. No, I can't fly down here. Um, I'm not sure why the apples. Really? Oh, I know why. I know why they made it. They didn't make it until just now. Is because I was probably far enough away that the chunks were loaded. It's probably a long enough journey that the chunks weren't loaded. Because I think that was the apples that just went by. I think I maybe took off too quickly from the... Uh, I flew from the mine. I probably did that too fast. I probably left the area of the mine and the chunks unloaded. And then now that we're walking along with and loading all the chunks, it's probably going to work. Now the good news there is that this goes under our main, our main, um, main area. So there's usually people online in this area. What do you mean they don't load? If items go into unloaded chunks, they eventually reload. Happens at my mine all the time. Oh, potatoes or apples? Not really sure. Well, I guess we'll find out because I mean I'm I'm tracing the chunks right now. I didn't pick anything up, did I? I picked up a potato. Apples, apples, apples. Five apples. Five test apples right there. Good to know. So the problem is that this is really far. And I think that's the issue. So maybe we do have to think about putting things into a dropper at some point. Yeah, that's pretty cool, eh, Jake? I'm I'm happy about that. I'm glad it worked. I just have to be conscious, I guess, of the fact that... Oh, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We put those apples in at the spider farm. There is the items that are going through this particular system will have an opportunity to go into some chests because the only items that are going to be th going through it are string and spider eyes. So we're going to go up and look at this, the filter now. So the string and the spider eyes are the only things that we're going to be sending through the system. Uh, so they will have an opportunity to go into some chests before they overflow and go in. But I guess the I guess the items that don't go into a chest will not end up in Well, there's a hopper and there's a dropper at the bottom of this elevator. So that's that's one I guess load point where they have to leave being out in the world and they're actually part of a hopper dropper system. So that would probably reset the timer. Uh, and if you're not in, if you're not loading that dropper, then they won't go anywhere. Uh, and again, I'm not worried about really losing items because it's an infinite source with the spider farm. Uh, so yeah, I think we're good to turn it on, right? Right.
This time I won't fly. This time we'll walk back from the spider farm. I might be able to fly down here. The, the hallway to the spider farm is big enough, I think. The question is just a matter of taking off. All right, so now that we know that this works, the way that this works is I need to get a couple more hoppers. Do I have a couple more hoppers? Oh, I only have two. Uh, let's just make, let's make some hoppers. Oh no! Oh, not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. That's right. Let's just get rid of that. So now I have to redo this uh, comparator. Comparator was this way. One extra tick on that, and one dot of redstone. I think that should fix it. Yeah, okay. So now we just need to hook up the bottom of this chain of chests. Hopper there and a hopper. Oh man, it's gonna be tricky. A hopper here. And that should start the waterfall. There we go. The onslaught has begun, and it's going to be mostly, mostly spider eyes for a really long time. Uh, so that little filter at the end is going to fill up with spider eyes. Okay. Well, fair enough. I really should take maybe put a filter somewhere for the spider eyes and just have them be destroyed. That's probably a better idea. Just put in one filter somewhere along that water stream and have it take the extra spider eyes and just toss them onto a cactus or something. So this is going to run whenever somebody is down here. Eventually, it just won't matter because once these chests are empty, then it's just going to be the drops from the spider farm. And the spider collection area is like right here. So these just go straight into the dropper. Uh, so this actually could probably be put in like that. Uh, so now it's just a matter of waiting for these things to get drained, which looks like it's happening very, very slowly. Uh, this is actually a fun little system. I I didn't think this was going to work. The torch kept on burning out, but I just had to delay the uh, the redstone just a little bit, and it just sends the items up just far enough that they get into this hopper, and then we're good to go. These are just a bunch of droppers that are facing up. Uh, so I think I think that's basically it for this end. I think, like I said, I want to just put in a filter at the other side for spider eyes because I don't think we necessarily need need any spider eyes uh, do I want to destroy the spider eyes or do I want to kind of keep some excess spider eye bulk somewhere I think two chests full of stacks of spider eyes is going to be enough right what do you use spider eyes for? Is there anything in particular that I'm not thinking of? It's just potions, right? Like it's just, I can't, like the harming potions or, or, you know, 
potions that no one ever uses. So what we should see here at the top is spider eyes and they should be getting filled up. So once we've got two chests of spider eyes, they're just going to start going down and into the system and they're just going to fill up that chest in the overflow. And that is not something I want. Mm. Yeah, I think we do want to put a filter on those spider eyes. Where would be a good spot to put it? Probably near the barn because that's where we've got access to them. So we can just put a filter somewhere on the water stream over by the barn access. Sound like a good idea? Good. I'm glad you agree. I'm not sure if this grass path is ever going to grow on me. I'm really, I'm not digging it. I like a lot of the new textures, but that's not one of them. So somewhere down here would be a good spot to put the filter. And I'm thinking probably like somewhere right along here would make sense. Uh, we could even, where would be a good spot? I guess it doesn't really matter how far they get. But yeah, I'm thinking like maybe I could put it right here. Is that going to interfere with anything? I don't think, I can't remember how big this room is. Okay, that room only goes to there. Uh, use them for base of all potions. Change the water into an awkward potion. No, that's another wart. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's another wart. Um, yeah, spider eyes are just for like potions of harming or potions of poison or something. I can't exactly remember. I just picked up a carrot. All right, well, we can get rid of the potato, the carrot, and flesh. So yeah, I'm thinking we put the filter right here. And that way we can just control um, the distribution of these spider eyes. I don't necessarily want to have like another double chest of spider eyes. I don't think we need it. I think we should be fine with just, just a garbage chute. Seems to me like that's a good idea. Uh, so let's just block the water here. I think maybe we'll put the filter where we can see it from, from that room with the beacon. It seems like a good idea. Get a little bit of light so we can see what we're doing. Uh, so we'll put the filter hopper here. I guess I should probably put down my redstone box too, hey? So filter, nope. I guess it doesn't really matter, but filter hopper. And then this hopper will go into a dropper. Hmm. What is going to be the best way to do this? Yeah, you know what? We're just going to utilize this space that's already been dug out for this beacon. And we'll do it this way. So we need a dropper and that goes on 
Uh, how do I want to do this? Compact space. I can't remove any of these. Okay, I'm going to have to move this. That's fine. We'll move it this way. I should put the filter circuit out that side and then the dropper circuit out this side. That's what I should do. I know this is a lot of fuss over a garbage chute, but I just want to make sure that if I ever run into it again, I know what I'm looking at. That's the problem. So we can do this. And so yeah, burn the overflow. Agreed. That's what we're doing. I don't think I'm going to use lava. I think I'm going to use a cactus just because um, it's less problematic if something goes wrong, you know. Um, you know how things can go wrong with lava, right, Metcast? Okay, so that is the filter hopper, which means that... So the dropper circuit is going to be out this side. So which way do I want to face the dropper? Probably this way. So then that goes in there. We'll have a standard circuit here for the dropper. And then the dropper will shoot it out onto a cactus. And that means that these things right. So air block, cactus block, sand block. Yeah, that'll work, I think. We just have to make sure that we have room to do the filter. So I have to remove that temporarily. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't know if I have enough wool. That's fine. I'm underneath the farm. We're good. So... Comparator. Oh no, that's not going to work at all. It's going to have to be lower. That's fine. <laughs> nice. I like the little emojis. Uh, so that's the comparator, which means that this is going to be the torch. I might be able to actually have. I might be able to have this on the same circuit, because that could be, that could be really helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could potentially use the torch to flash the hopper to the flash the dropper, and then it won't matter at all, right? Like if I have the dropper facing this way, I don't, I, I don't need the second circuit, right? I think, I think. So I need a repeater and a comparator. and a lot more inventory space. Okay. Uh, I think I can fill this in. If not, I'm just going to dig it all out again anyway, but... Okay, so repeater there. And then we'll, 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 and then we need the comparator up top. Oh, 
Can I? Hmm. Go. And we can put that back. Maybe put some glass here so we can see what's going on. Don't think we need that. Okay, so now we just have to make the filter. I've got the four sticks. I forgot to bring spider eyes. But I think that's all we need. So if that's the cactus. I mean, we could just spit them out to be to despawn, but I'd rather not take the risk. So that, that, that. And pretty sure I have sand. Do I have any cactus in here? That's a real question. I do. I really like the new cactus texture. It's very pretty. Just Chapa did a really good job on that one. And then, so technically glass, glass, and then glass. That gives us some move, room to move. So the question is, if an item goes through this system with the redstone intact, does that torch flash the hopper? So I want to test this before I fill it all in. Okay, so let's, uh, well, let's just grab this just in case we need it. And then we can hop up here. No, no. Ugh. So annoying. Efficiency. Pickaxe. Ugh. So that just got rid of all the redstone down here. Put the torch back. Put the repeater back. Torch back, repeater back. Okay. Crisis averted. Pain in the butt. And then this. Ah, okay. So this had to be there. So let's make this slabs just so that we can oh we can't walk underneath that so close um what if i remove this and we put a slab there we go and that, i don't think the items will actually pop out the side there so that's good Okay, so that's sorted out there. So now what I need to do is cover this up. I'll do that with slabs, but I need uh, spider eyes. That's what I need. I don't think I have any nearby. I'm, there may be some at the barn. I don't want to have to go all the way back to the... Uh, to the mine to get them. I should have some at the barn. Man, computer really sounds like it's gonna take off when you... Oh no! I ruined the garden. Or the skeleton ruined the garden. Dying of fire. What happened there? Was it wheat? Beetroots. All right. I'll have to remember to come back and plant that. Beetroot, beetroot, beetroot. Don't let me forget to plant the beetroot. I should have spider eyes 
in my cabin. Pretty sure. None there. 53. That'll do. That will pass the test. Uh, what do I not care about here? Granite. Lighten the load a little bit. Oh, I need to bring, I need to bring a stone hoe so I can replant those beetroot seeds. Ah, oh, mission is almost accomplished. So close. Right, let's make you look nice again. And plant those. And then just toss the rest. Have to change this beacon back too. <laughs> Reminder, thank you, Cosmic Dancer. Much appreciated. We are on top of it. The beetroot has been replaced. I don't even think it was Megan's. I think I'm the one that planted it in the first place. I think I was just being nice and, and made her a little garden. Okay, so now we need... Uh, sticks and... That fired once, oh, but it's not firing again. So what happens if we take those out and we just put in So it is getting out the side. That's annoying. That is a real pain. So I guess we do have to have glass here. So as another one comes in, another one goes out. What if all eight go in to the top? So it does power it, but it doesn't do it Takes a really long time, doesn't it? This will eventually fill up and get stuck, and then it'll no longer filter. So, I think the solution is to actually do the dropper thing. I'll just have to shoot it off the side here, I think. I don't know why that doesn't work the way that I thought it was going to. Uh, can I do this? No, I can't. Shoot. <laughs> Stand down. Beetroot has been planted. World is safe for another day. I agree. I agree. The, the good deed has been has been completed. Uh, so this does fire when the torch flashes, but it only shoots the once. And if like six spider eyes come along in chunks, then it won't work. So the solution is to lower this, I guess, and just have another hopper go into the dropper and have it shoot it in a different direction. Um... So that goes straight down. Instead, we could have it shoot off to the side. We could put the dropper up one. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do.
So get rid of this and put the dropper here. And change this so that it points into the dropper. That still has the proper amount of filtered stuff in it. Uh, so then the dropper circuit could just be out the side, I guess. That's going to interfere with our walkway, though. We have the dropper circuit out that way. So we change the dropper again and we make it so I'm not sure why I'm using dirt because I'm going to want to use stone here anyway. I want that sand back too. So let's make the dropper face this way. And then we can put the cactus there. Although then we can't then we can't walk through. That's right. I guess I could just make a door the other way. Oh man, I can't jump to save my life today. So then the dropper circuit will be over here as originally planned. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. And I'm going to have to go back up and get some more wool. Uh, lava would also work. Uh, I just don't want to light anything on fire should bad things happen. I might actually have wool in one of these chests. Not enough. Now I think we can complete the circuit. Okay. This is one of the handiest things you'll ever build in Minecraft is these auto dropper circuits. Peter goes there. Peter goes there. Uh, block, block, block. Need some redstone. And the block there. So now anything we put in here should be spat out. Perfect. And we want it to fall on a cactus that's going to be here. Always something to collect in this game.
sand, cactus, and then we should be able to then put uh, Oh, now I can't get back. It's okay. I wanted to put a walkway up this side anyway. Is there water over here? No. Okay, put some glass there. And replace the stone here and here. So now we can get through. Sort of. And then put some glass there and oh that's not gonna work darn it man I was so close <laughs> I've been streaming for a little while I think it might be time to to call it quits so I don't have to do this on camera and then I can sort this out later uh, what would be the better way to do this guess just have the dropper face the other way probably is the easiest thing so that way I don't have to do any redstone changes I can just grab this and send this over in this direction nope not up let's just back this up a second here Okay, so this is going to be the cactus. That means that these things are all going to be empty. Little switcheroo. Right, so that is empty there. And that means that we can do... Sand. Cactus. And then we can do glass here, there, and we'll do stone, then glass, glass there. So now anything that gets put in the hopper gets put back into my inventory, which is not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's try to put something in the dropper from this side. Three things go in, and they all got destroyed. Yes, okay. So that is correct, that's what I wanted to happen. And now I can just fill this in with stone here but not underneath the hopper or the dropper that has to be open for the cactus yeah okay so that is done so now when we put in victory Yahoo! all right so that's good happy that that worked out uh, stone can go back along here and then we are good to open up the waterway right nothing else is going to change perfect there so now we have a way to destroy the excess spider eyes access to it should we need to oh something's coming 
No, that's just bubbles from the bubble, bubble elevator. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I think I'm going to call the stream there. The task set before us has been accomplished. That uh, was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm not going to say goodbye while we're hanging out in the sheep farm. Because that would just be crazy to try and talk over these guys. But now we have a full-fledged uh, string and spider eye system hooked up to one of the first farms that we actually uh, built here in the meadows. Well, thanks for hanging out, folks. If you've enjoyed this, then uh, check out some of the other streams that I have posted on my YouTube channel. Uh, Twitch will keep the VOD for a couple of weeks, but I put the uh, the other stuff uh, on uh, on YouTube from time to time. My name is Joel Duggan. You can listen to me on the Spawn Chunks. You can check out my artwork and everything at joelduggan.com. Uh, look for the new web store opening up this week. But that's it. Thanks so much for everybody in the chat hanging out. Uh, Cosmic Dancer, especially for the support and the uh, the help moderating today. And uh, good to see you, Matcast, uh, and everybody else. Cheers. I will see you later.